Hi YouTube. Hi. <laughs> Uh, today we're going to do a video about what's in my coffee holiday edition. I get this question a lot about what I put in my coffee. Uh, generally, it's the same thing, but during the holidays I kind of treat myself and do a little bit of extra stuff. So I'm going to go through that with you guys. The first thing is I'm going to show you my coffee maker. So I do have the Nespresso Virtual Plus. It's actually on sale right now at Williams Sonoma, 30% off. I'll link it in the description for you guys, or you can just follow me on the Like to Know It app and everything's linked over there. So that's the coffee maker that I use. And we have lots of different kinds of pods. I'll show you what they look like. The pod for the Nespresso, and it has a barcode on the back. You wanna hold it? it? Has a barcode on the back, and when you put it into the coffee maker, it reads the barcode and it brews it at the specific temperature for that type of coffee. This is Intenso and that's one of our favorite ones. It's a dark roast and that's generally the main one that we use. But during the holidays, Nespresso does make some different flavors. So this one is Caramel Cookie. It's just got the flavor of Caramel Cookie. It's not sweetened. So none of the pods are sweetened. They're just coffee with some flavoring in them. Uh-oh, uh -oh, you dropped it. So I'm gonna make a cup of this and then I'll show you what I put in it. Okay, so now all that's in here right now is coffee and I'm going to put some creamer. I just use, I just use heavy cream. So I'm just gonna put a splash of heavy cream in here. Okay, now, so it's the holidays, so I treat myself a little bit. I have a bunch of different flavors. One of the <coughs> best ones that's out there that tastes a lot like um, Starbucks peppermint mocha is the Omega Power Creamer. Yeah, Omega Power Creamer and peppermint mocha. This is made with fairly good ingredients. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. It doesn't have bad oils or anything in it. The only thing that's kind of not great is that it has natural flavoring and we all know that doesn't, we don't really know what that means. So that's the only thing. But I do have an alternative to that if you don't want that. This is pretty expensive. I do have a discount code though. So I'll put it right here for you guys, but here's the alternative. This is my basket of tricks, okay? And so I keep my power creamer. This is just the natural cocoa, so it doesn't have any sweetener in it. This one does have a little sweetener in it, it's stevia. But these, I'm gonna show you all of these, are just stevia. So I have chocolate, this is the Sweet Leaf brand. You can get it on Amazon. And then I have vanilla, this is from Sprouts, but it's essentially the same thing as the Sweet Leaf. Then I have caramel. Pumpkin spice, this one's really good, I like it a lot. Stevia peppermint, so peppermint, all right. So if you wanted to do peppermint mocha, we would do just a few drops of the chocolate and a few drops of the peppermint. It doesn't take much. This is very, very sweet, so don't go overboard. I would say maybe two, two drops of each. Also have cinnamon. This is pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie. And then I have just the stevia sweetener. So this is just plain. It doesn't have any flavoring in it at all. So. I will pick whatever flavor I wanna do and I'll put a few drops in there. I think today we're gonna go with a little vanilla. I think that's what we're gonna go with. Since I did the caramel cookie Nespresso pod, I'm gonna just put a few drops of the vanilla in here. About four drops is really all it takes. Okay, and then I'm going to put some iodine in my coffee. Lugol's iodine is what I use, 2%. I'll link it below. You can find it on my Amazon shop page. If you just go to amazon.com slash shop slash Nisha loves it. All of my favorite things are linked over there. So just head over there if you ever wanna know where I got any of this stuff, it's always linked over there or on the Like to Know It app. So what I do is I just take the dropper and I'm almost out. I need to open a new bottle. And then I put two drops in my coffee. And then also sometimes I'll put some electrolytes in there. This is not vodka. 
it is in a decanter because I thought it was prettier that way, but this is, so what this is, is the Keto Chow Mineral Drops. So it has minerals and electrolytes in it. The electrolyte drops just have electrolytes. So this has boron, iodine, um, so does it have selenium? Does it have selenium in it? Selenium, it's got a bunch of stuff. I'll leave the link to this below as well. And I'll put a screenshot of what everything is in it over here. So um, this is really salty. So I just put just a little in my coffee. And uh, if I don't use the iodine from Lugol's, I get some from this anyways. But I did go ahead and put my Lugol's in there, but I'm, it's fine. I can put this in there as well. What I do is I used an empty Keto Chow electrolyte drop bottle and filled it up with the daily minerals. Yeah. And that way you can just put a few drops in each cup of coffee so it's not too salty. Yeah. I actually like salty coffee, but. Yeah, it kind of gives it a little something. If you've ever had, back when you weren't keto, the salted caramel frappe or hot coffee from Starbucks, the salt really gives it something. So I like to put a little bit of something salty. You can just put salt in there, but this way you get electrolytes and the salty flavor. Uh, if you do put the minerals in here, just put a Sharpie, you know, over it. So it, you know that it's not fasting drops, it's mineral drops. So I'm gonna put a few drops of that in here. All right, anything else I put in my coffee? I think that's it, right? Uh, I used to put butter in my coffee. Dr. Barry sometimes puts a raw egg in his coffee. I uh, don't do that, but he says it's really good. Just the yolk. I, just the yolk. And I've heard a lot of people say bacon grease is good in your coffee. I've never done that, but I'm a big fan of bacon grease, so I don't know, maybe I'll try it. But basically, on the daily, this is what's in my coffee. Um, after the holidays are over, I won't use the Stevia drops as much. I just miss going to Starbucks <laughs> and getting those type of coffee. So to fill that void, I use this stuff and do my own. So uh, now that it's done, I will use my handy dandy frother. This is also linked on my Amazon page. I love this thing. It's dirty, I need to clean it. But I just stick it in here yeah. and Give it a good stir so everything's nice and mixed. Now, when you, if you've never used one of these before, be careful because they are quite powerful and your coffee may go everywhere. I've done that multiple times. So just be careful you don't spill your coffee everywhere. And so this is what my coffee is. It's nice and frothy and I just, yeah, it looks really pretty. Okay, cheers. Oh my gosh, that may be the best one I've made. I know that sounds really BS because I'm making a video, but no, this is really good. I'll probably be, this is the first time that I've used the vanilla with the caramel cookie and it's really, really good. Mm. Okay, so that's what's in my coffee right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumb button and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this and so much more. Also, let me know what you put in your coffee. Do you put sweetener? Do you like it black? Are you hardcore like that? You like black coffee? I can't do it, but I applaud you. I can't. Again, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Or you can keep watching one of these videos right over there and I'll see you in that one. Love you, mean it. Bye.